College football game day for us, the fans, is all about the 60 minutes of gameplay on Saturdays. But for one small group of hardworking individuals, the gameplay starts well before the coin toss. And on this episode, we travel to the University of Alabama to see how they prepare for home games. I'm Leland, welcome to Sports Dissected, the series. So typically, uh, how long does it take to fill the truck? So this truck will only take, you know, 45 minutes to an hour. Most everything's done before we put it on here. And then after practice, we'll also look at stuff we use during practice, player shoulder pads, helmets, cleats, stuff like that, the individual player stuff. This is our big trunk. So this stuff we've been packing throughout the week. So it's pretty much done. So it'll only take 30 to 45 minutes to load pre-practice. And then after practice, when we're packing bags and stuff like that, that'll take a lot longer. That'll take up to an hour and a half, two hours. This is prepping for a home game. What's the difference if we we're doing a away game? Away game takes a lot longer because you basically have to move everything on the road and the trucks are different too. This is a 26 foot box truck. Away game, we're taking a big 18 wheeler. So then that thing, it will be packed full. So okay. it, that, that'll take a lot longer of a load. Between us and the training staff, they'll start loading at 9 a.m. and we won't shut the door on it until the last player bag's packed probably 7 30 8 o'clock tonight Ooh -wee. how many guys do you have on the team so i got 15 student managers full-time student managers that work for us then they're the, they're the backbone of the, of the organization man they do everything they're all full-time students hard-working kids and they grind and these cars aren't light no nah, they're heavy man they're <laughs> heavy so the number one requirement is just be a hard worker just be a hard worker man be ready to work we have everybody's jersey in their individual cubbies, which makes it easier. Gets them separated, so we just go down through the cubbies and get the jersey for the game. Normally do whichever one looks best. It depends on the game. You know, like Kyle said, if it's weather, we use like a more beat-in jersey. That way we don't just ruin brand new jerseys. How many versions of each jersey do you typically have for each player? It really depends on how much they play and how long they've been here. All the new freshmen, they have two each color. So two white, two crimson, because we always bring one jersey. I bring with me that goes on their shoulder pads. And then I bring a whole set of backups. Chris has been here for four years, so he has four crimson jerseys, but he also has a backup jersey, so he has five crimson jerseys. And when a guy uh, leaves, can he take all those jerseys or do you guys right. keep those? When we play in a playoff game, Rose Bowl, Orange Bowl, something like that, we always let them keep their jerseys after the game. And then same thing for the national championship. They get to keep their jerseys after that. And then when they graduate and they're senior, we make up a box for them. And we just put all the rest of their jerseys in that box with their helmet. He keeps the list and I just go through and kind of just Triple check them one more time, look over them before I put them in. So one, it's Kool-Aid, two, DeMarco. When do you guys take the time to put the names on each of the jerseys? Guys that are returning players, when we order them from Nike, theirs will already come with their name. All new players, and if I have to make a new jersey, I'll write it out on like a piece of paper, sticky note, something, and I'll take it to our seamstress, and she'll just put it on there for us. In your time here, what's the worst you've seen a jersey? We were playing Mercer. One of our quarterbacks, he went in for Bryce, Jalen Milrow. He was trying to run the ball, and his jersey got grabbed from the back, and his jersey just completely ripped up the back. So I'd never seen that happen before. That's probably the craziest one. When Najee was here, he had to get a new jersey every game. He would just beat his in every game, making a new Najee jersey every Monday. It was like clockwork. So yeah, I see you have a really important job. You're determining how the guys look. I get to pick which one they wear every game. So if someone gets on your bad side, you're like, okay, I got you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, I would never do that. I want everybody to look good because then that makes me look good. All right, so uh, I'm with my guy, Bobby. What are we working on right now? I see everybody yeah. in this room is just busy with helmets. And yeah, so Thursday nights, we got to get all the helmets ready for the game. During the week, previously, we've kind of worked on any of the big issues with them. So we've already kind of striped oh. anything that's been damaged and then redone numbers. So right now, we're just kind of double checking, making sure we have the American flag, our warning sticker, our stripe is centered and it's got little holes cut. Like this one doesn't have holes cut, so we got to make sure we poke it with the scalpel. Just in case if a guy needs air in their helmet on game day, we can get the needle down in there. Is each person in here assigned like a player, a number of players? So during the week we have our set of numbers and those stay the same throughout the year, about six or seven helmets. But then each week on Thursday, you'll get somebody else's helmets. That way we're kind of double checking each other's work. It's nice this year because we have those guardian caps. So those stay on the helmets during the week mm -hmm. and the stickers don't get damaged nearly as much. Normally, you know, you might have to replace half the guy's numbers because in practice they're hitting on their helmets and scratching it up and ripping off the numbers. How long did it take you to get pretty good at placing the numbers? It takes quite a few helmets. Okay. You do a lot where you're kind of like, this just doesn't look right and you just keep redoing it. The way we do these is kind of look at the air hole 
So okay. that's kind of our center of the helmet. Nice. Right through there, and that's kind of how we try to center it. It's kind of an art. I mean, by now I've probably done a few hundred helmets, so I've gotten good at it. So while you're working on that one, can I do something with this? I mean, it's already pretty clean Okay. looking at it, so I would just go straight to the shining wipes. Pretty simple, just wipe it over like once or twice. You don't have to do any scrubbing with it. We're just kind of getting the wax out onto the helmet. And so we'll do this now, and then we'll do it again about two hours before kickoff so that the helmet's Look good on Saturday too. Get all in those little nooks and crannies. How long does it take you to inspect and clean and get every helmet uh, prepared? Depends. I guess if we're gonna like throw an average in there, probably like five minutes a helmet on Thursday night. Now during the week, you know, like if you gotta do a helmet from scratch, so numbers, stripe and all that, it might take 45 minutes a helmet. How we looking, how we looking? I'm good. Looks brand new. All right. All right, Brock, so what we got now? We're passing out these Nike bags here. to so guys are first time dressers. Okay. They have their travel suit in there and they have their travel shoes that they wear to the games. So this is his locker number okay. here. We'll look at the lockers and you can see in kind of the, the top left corner, they have a sticker that tells you what locker it is. So this is 11, so 11 goes here. All right, so 117 here. Yep, 117 right there. All right, package dropped off, delivered. How many uh, lockers do you guys have total? 135 in right. here. So the next step, we're gonna pull these red travel bags down from their locker and set them in their chair. So after practice, when they come in, they can just throw their shoulder pads off, throw it straight in the bag, throw their cleats off, throw it in the bag, start and pack their bag for the game. All right, Britt, so we filled the truck up yesterday, right? We did. We're at the stadium, what happens today? So now what we do is everything we did yesterday, we're just gonna kind of now start to transition it into the locker room. So okay. grabbing player bags that we packed last night, Okay. taking it to the locker here in the locker room. So once we get in the locker room, everyone's got their own locker, a little different from the locker room at the facility. Basically what we're doing is we're just gonna unload everything we packed. So, you know, the cleats, their thigh pads, their helmet, their shoulder pads, kind of getting it all just set up in their locker. And once we get all that set up and it's time to put on the jerseys, you know, get the pants ready, you know, just lay it out. And that way they walk in here, everything's set up perfect. All they have to worry about is getting ready to play the game. Bags at the locker. Yep. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and start, you know, unpacking it piece by piece. We like to put the cleats down below. Um, they're out of the way, but that way that when they get here, they can open it up. You know, we, we bring two pairs, kind of like we talked about yesterday, that way they can kind of pick, you know, which style they want for that game. Maybe try one out during pregame, see if they're liking it. Then we grab their thigh pads and knee pads. And then this also opens up in the back. Put these back here, take out their shoulder pads, just set them out for a second because we'll come back by later and put the jerseys on them, make them look good. Next, we take the helmet, take it out of the little protective bag. It's up top and then once we get them ready, the shoulder pads will go under it. You can kind of see, you know, so the jersey's looking today, this is how it's gonna look all together. That way they can kind of see the uniform before they put it on. And then with the bag that they came in, just fold it up. Then we put it back under their seat as well, out of the way. They don't even know it's there. And lockers unloaded. Okay, so I've seen the process. I want to try one on my own. Let's do it, man. I'll I should have timed you so I can see if I can. Yeah, do a little race. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do this one. You want to do this one? I can kind of okay. do the same thing at the same time. So that one's already unzipped. It's a race now. That's right. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Wait a second. You, <laughs> you're cheating already. All right, soon got to go in first. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Relax, slow that. Oh, wait, wait. Look, look, I put two lifts in the get. Let me stop talking. I got to focus. All right, here we go, hold on. Bro. I'm getting, I'm still, I'm still on the, on the shoes. All right, shoot, all right, good. All right, shoulder pads. Uh, thigh and knees. My shoulder pads are falling, and you're almost done. You know, I've got a, got a little hiccup here trying to get the bag off, so I mean, you may be able to catch me on this one. <laughs> Look. Don't worry about the gloves and the helmet. But I gotta fold the bag, I can still catch him. Let me close one. And it's on. No, 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 no. That, that, that. I, I was suppressed. You were, you were right there. You are right there. That helmet bag, you know, is giving me issues. <laughs> Shout out to our partners at The Game Day. The Game Day is a new sports and sports betting media company built for today's fan. Check out the link in our bio and on our community tab for all their great content. And head to their website at thegameday.com for the latest sportsbook promos, betting tips, expert picks, and sportsbook app reviews.